guys. Oh. Bassoon. I've got to use cameras. But anyway, I have realised it's been a minute since I've made a video where I've been myself for you instead of uh, curated content or live streams. I mean, I'm myself in live streams. I'm gonna cut my hair. <sighs> One thing I like to do in the morning if I want to be productive is write down my tasks for the day. I try to do this every day, but then it started to be something that I would beat myself up over if I didn't do every day, but that is journaling. And now I've kind of gotten to the point where I realize I don't have to journal every day, just like when I need to, when I feel like it, and that's okay. This is, if it's something that you've decided to do for you, don't beat yourself up about it if you don't manage to do it every single day or something like that. No one else is going to benefit or not from it. Uh, so if it's not benefiting you, then why, why should you feel like you have to do it every day? Okay, um, scissors, oh. scissors, I got some uh, brand new scissors, ooh, supposed to be like ready to cut your hair straight out, so we'll see, but yeah, I'm gonna watch a YouTube video on how to cut my hair, and then I'm gonna cut my hair, I've got three different camera angles going here, so see how it is, I am outside, it's probably really loud, so I'm probably gonna have to do a voiceover for this. I think my hair's a bit greasy. Quick warning, this was an absolute mess and took me a couple hours to do. What I basically tried to do was create a triangle in the front of my head and that would be the fringe. I'm scared. Well done, Yasmin. You cut off a piece of your hair. 10 out of 10. What I would try to do is cut it in an angle. I would get the longer pieces that were on the sides of my head and cut them longer than the fringe pieces in the center of my head. This is so hard in the wind. What the fuck am I doing? One interesting thing that I found though is that I couldn't see for a lot of it. I shouldn't have done this in the wind, but the fact that I had quite long hair and I was trying to section it to keep the fringe in front of my face meant that I couldn't see the YouTube videos that I was watching. How do you see what you're doing? I'm just gonna go in. Look, this is not a how-to video, so I'm sorry if it doesn't make sense. What am I doing? One more tip that I learned from watching YouTube videos was to cut upwards into your full fringe if you have curly hair. It looks more natural and stops that kind of ah cut where it just has gone too short and looks absolutely terrible. Oh God, I'm so scared. It's coming. Ultimately, I am a massive coward and it took me far too long to do this. But hopefully it's in some way interesting for you all. Ow! <laughs> Just threw myself in the nose! It's 
weird. I can't get used to this. Weird. I don't know how I feel about this. Hello. Here is the big reveal. Do we like it? Is it too weird? I don't know. Is it, is it dry? I can't even tell. It is different. It's definitely going to take some getting used to. I look pretty sophisticated. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Yeah, I think it looks better when I have my hair up. One thing that I've always been really bad at is change and that includes my hair. I've had the same hairdresser since I was a child, it's my mum's friend. So her and my mum would work as a team and she would cut off my hair and my mum would um, get the dustpan and brush and quickly just brush it before I could see around the floor because when my haircut was finished I used to inspect the ground to see how much hair was taken off and it was too much I would cry. So <laughs> it's just been something that I've always struggled with, so being able to cut my own hair into a freaking fringe, which is like so new for me, um, I'm proud. Well done. I did it. I did it. It's half 11. I think I might still have time to get turnips and Animal Crossing, so I'm probably, probably gonna get some turnips. Welcome to the workspace. Forget that my bed is right there. <laughs> We've literally walked two steps, but this is where I spend all day. And then all night playing the witcher. Yeah. It's a really cloudy day in Animal Crossing today. So my outfit is a, a watermelon and I've got a little snot dripping from my nose. Am I too late? Am I too late for turnip woman? Balls. Okay, I'll save an end. I've got stuff to do. I'm gonna phone my mum and see what she thinks about this. Did quite a good job. Curly, isn't it? Huh? It's really curly, isn't it? Yeah. It's like it's kinda of like yours. It just went it just yeah. puffs up as soon as I cut it. Oh brilliant. Like it. Do you like it? Yeah I do actually. Yeah. It looks it looks quite nice when I put it when I put it up. Because oh. it's yeah. like I can like it looks quite sophisticated when I put it up. Oh well done. And I don't look young either, I don't think. I think I look the same age, really. Because I thought yeah. it would make me look like 10. But I think I look like the same age. I still yeah. look 16. Yeah, you still look 16, not 10. <laughs> not 10. All Take right. Oh, very well, nice. I was just phoning you to get your reaction on camera because I was filming it. Oh, no! I can blow your face if you want me to. <laughs> um, I look like an emoji. Oh, shut that. up. Shut <laughs> up, Mum. Can you see what she's done? It's the fringe. You yeah. Cut, yeah, I can see you've done something to the fringe. It looks nice. I've done something. Like I've got a full fringe. I've never had this before. Do you not think I look I'm different? Yeah. You look older. <laughs> no, younger. Shit. No, it's good. I <laughs> want to look older. <laughs> well, there you go then. Got the um, seal of approval from the mother. I thought this might have been what her hair would look like when she was younger, but apparently it wasn't. But she liked it. She said it looked like a young Kate Bush. And I know the name, but I cannot think of the face. So maybe that's a compliment? You remember me? I used to be Kate Bush. My brother didn't think I'd changed a bit. <laughs> 
So it is now Monday morning. Um, I'm getting ready for work, but I just wanted to check in with you because I don't think I actually did an outro. Um, this is what she looks like in the morning, by the way. The whole point of that video was just to share another day in my life with you. Um, I don't do them very often because I always think that I, I'm not really doing that many interesting things, uh, especially now. But I know it makes you feel closer to me and I want to share that with you every now and then. Do I have crust on my lips? No? Okay, cool. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So I'm going to start my working week uh, from home. I am very, very lucky to be able to do that. I know that other people haven't been able to, a lot of people have been laid off, and I really hope that you're doing well. And I also want to say thank you so much to everyone that's been joining me in my live streams. Uh, we managed to raise £510 for Black Lives Matter, which is amazing. If you think everyone deserves equality, then you stand for Black Lives Matter, because before you start to raise them up, how are we ever going to be equal together does that make sense i mean everyone's using that analogy of if one house is burning you can't just say all the houses matter that's exactly it it's like we know where the injustice stands we can see it it's being shown to us Ugh, does that make sense it's it's the morning i'm trying to say things i mean ultimately i am white and i will never 100 percent understand but that does not mean that I can't talk out about it and help in any way that I can and say, no, this isn't right. <laughs> this fucking isn't right. And we all deserve equality. We can't treat everyone equal and then get equal. We have to sort out the inequality first. And then, and then okay, cool. Everyone who is speaking up, everyone who is going through hard times, Everyone who is dealing with this in their own ways, you don't have to be like shouting loud, screaming loud. There's loads of other ways that you can help combat this. I'll put a link down in the description below. And I'm really sorry if this is coming across as like nonsensical, but I've long had an issue with not wanting to offend people, and I think that's like the English within me. So yeah, this is very ranty um, and I'm going to go now, okay? Have a lovely day or evening.